Warning, if you have not played Pokemon Yellow version, Pokemon Red version, Pokemon Blue version, or Pokemon Green version, do not continue in this video. Or, if you haven't seen Scar Knight's Let's Play of Pokemon Yellow, you have been warned. This is Pikachu. Now you might know Pikachu just about anywhere. He is the mascot of Pokemon, and also the Japanese soccer team mascot. And he's the type of Pokemon that loves to be free. He's also cute, cuddly, and affectionate. But one particular Pikachu was caught by none other than the band that's known as Team Rocket. Now obviously, Pikachu's pretty scared right now. Being forced to go to labor and entertainment for profit, and Pikachu doesn't get to share or anything, really. Also treated like rats, thanks to the mighty whip of discipline that nobody ever notices on the Team Rocket grunt. Now Pikachu suffers from mental scars, claustrophobia, and constipation. Now you might be wondering, is he planning to escape? Yeah. Now don't ask me how he escaped. Let's just assume that he had a hard battle. He goes for the ocean to avoid Team Rocket. He sees the land in the distance, assuming Radiant Forest is nearby, which is his home. He's going for it. He's almost there. And he sees this place called Pallet Town. And this is where our journey begins. And Team Rocket, you're gonna get it. The journey I started as I was looking for Professor Oak and running into Pikachu. I didn't expect them to be my partner. I first thought whatever was on the counter was known to be my Pokemon. But as I went with Pikachu to do some errands for Professor Oak, I realized that my dream of becoming Pokemon Master will come true. I caught my very first Pokemon, Juggernaut, the Nidoran. I then decided to finally go through what I want and face all the gyms so I can enter the Pokemon League. First, Brock. I knew Pikachu wouldn't be affected against him, so neither I had to go in his place. I feel kind of bad for Sabretooth, my Pikachu. At first I didn't know why Pikachu didn't like staying in his Pokeball or dislike humans. But while going through Mount Moon, it became clear. I ran into this gang. They called themselves Team Rocket. I'd never seen Pikachu so angry before. Juggernaut then evolved inside Mount Moon and drove Team Rocket away. After we left Mount Moon, we met a new Pokemon, Bulbasaur. A trainer felt like it should lend it to me, so I brought Bulbasaur along and called him Rogue and I saw my arrival again. He's always two steps ahead of me. I didn't even have Bulbasaur long and it already evolved. Then after, we decided to face Misty. I chose to use Ivysaur for the advantage. It worked.
before leaving Zerlin City, we found a new friend, Charmander. The trainer didn't want it, him anymore, so he went with me to my journey and immediately evolved into Charmeleon. I went straight to the next gym and wanted to use Pyro, my Charmeleon, with the move that I taught him and won the match. So Jenny thought I'd be a suitable trainer to have a squirrel, so I named him Beast. FYI, since nobody got my cookie joke, Here's a more better approach. Cookie. I didn't take long for Squirtle to evolve into War Turtle and went straight to my next destination, Celadon City, where I accidentally went inside Team Rocket's secret base. I didn't know what they were plotting, but whatever it was, I wasn't gonna allow it. I evolved my Nidorino into Neo King and beat everyone there. And for the first time, I met the leader of Team Rocket, Giovanni. Giovanni got away. Don't know where, but I knew that it wasn't the last time I'll see him. I took on the gym and won. Then went straight to the next gym. Or I would say that, but a Snorlax blocks my path. I tried going around it, but no use. I heard stories about this saying. A wild Snorlax only wakes up when it's hungry, which I don't know and I was impatient because my rival is always two steps ahead of me regardless. Or with the Poke Flute. And the Poke Flute is said to be located in Lavender Town with Mr. Fuji. He's been missing and that he was last seen in the Pokemon Tower, which is haunted. I went up the tower and found Team Rocket keeping Mr. Fuji hostage. I saved him but he says that he came here in his own will. Gave me the Puggy Flute and I awoke in Snorlax and decided to catch him. After that, my Ivysaur evolved into a Venusaur. This time, we went straight to the gym with my Snorlax and won my fifth batch. Three more to go. I went to Saffron for a couple of reasons. One, for my sixth badge. Two, to fight the second gym because just to see how I'll fare. And three, I heard there was trouble in Sylph, so I went to check it out. I went up the building and both Pyro and Beast evolved into Charizard and Blastoise.
We face all the Team Rocket grunts there. And with no surprise, saw Giovanni yet again. Giovanni told me what he planned to do. He wanted the Master Ball technology and use it for world domination. And in a blink of an eye, he vanished. Zell was safe, and strangely, Giovanni had the same calming control sense in his face. As a gift from the city of Saffron, I received the Master Ball. Then, after I was asked if I wanted to trade my Pokemon for Machoke, I accepted, but I already had six Pokemon. So I had to say goodbye to my first Pokemon, Nido King. As I got Machoke, it evolved then and there into Machamp, since it evolves by trade. So I went to the gym. Obviously I wasn't going to use my champ right away for the gym was psychic type. It was it was a tough battle, but I won. I then crossed water for my next destination, but along the way I saw this strange island and saw Articuno, one of the legendary Pokemon. Soon after, I faced a gym and won. I decided I'd go to the power plant even though it's a ways away, but it wasn't a problem since Charizard could fly me there. I heard rumors about another legendary Pokemon at the power plant, is where I saw it, Zapdos. I was amazed, the rumors are true. The funny thing is about rumors is that Viridian City Gym Leader supposedly returned, and as I was coming back to see for myself, I was shocked to see who was the Gym Leader, Giovanni. In the beginning of my journey, the very first gym I checked was Viridian, but nobody was there. But how Giovanni became the gym leader and Team Rocket's leader at the same time, I'm not sure. It was said he was the strongest gym leader. Whoever said that was not kidding. He was difficult to beat, but I managed. Finally, I have all eight badges. On my way out, I saw my rival. So I guess he got eight badges. See you in the Pokemon League, he said. I nodded. On the way to Pokemon League is Victory Road, a test to see if trainers and his Pokemon will and desire to reach the goals they urge for. As I crossed Victory Road, I saw the legendary bird Pokemon, Moltres. I thought to myself that he truly represents Victory Road. I finally then crossed Victory Road, and now it's time for the Pokemon League. First, I faced L'Oreal, the specialist on Ice Tag Pokemon.
Then, Bruno. He specializes on fighting type Pokemon. After that, Agatha. She specializes ghost type Pokemon. And now, the champion, Lance. Very challenging battle, but I done it. I'm now the Pokemon League champion. Who are I would say that. But somebody beat him before I did. I crossed the next room. I can't believe my eyes. It was my rival. We looked into each other's eyes. Pure fire. Without one word, we started battling. The toughest battle I ever had. I have one more Pokemon left, and so does he. It's now or never. I struck with the final blow, and I finally won. I'm the new Pokemon League champion. I woke up suddenly into my bedroom. Was it a dream? My mom walks in with the trophy in her hand. I never could have been happier. It wasn't a dream. Then it happened. Oakum's rushing in saying that my rival's injured. What happened? He then said, Cerulean Cave. Then he mumbled monster. Then he lost consciousness. Without hesitation, I flew to Cerulean and found the cave. At the end of the cave, I saw it. Somehow I knew what it was. You too. I knew what to do, and that is to use the Mass Ball against it. This Pokemon was so powerful, the strongest, and caught it. Wait, if this is Mewtwo, what's the first? Someday, I'll see it. But one thing's for sure, my journey isn't over. One, two, I got him in a Pokeball! Thing, Isis. Uh, yes? I was wondering if you would build us a bridge of love connecting our hearts forever! Wow.